for this next sequence. It's all about magic and illusion. You know, here on television, electronic magic is easy. I can levitate in the air with a little help from my friends in the control room, and I can disappear just like that and reappear just as easily. A magic man in Oregon doesn't have any of this electronic gadgetry to help him. Still, he creates some amazing illusions. An account of his work appeared in a recent issue of Omni magazine, together with a photograph of a puzzling wooden crate that he built. The photograph drew more male response than any in the magazine's history. Jerry Andrus is a retired electrical lineman who used the job to support his real interest, magic and other tricks of illusion. The crate is a good example. On first glance, it's an ordinary wood frame. Look closer and you see that a board that is supposed to form the rear of the crate passes in front of a board that should be in the foreground. Another board at the front passes behind those at the back. It's a mind-boggling puzzle until you move out of a specific line of sight. Then it becomes obvious that the crate's not a rectangle at all, but is a clever arrangement of boards and ropes. Andrus specializes in fooling the eye. Andrus now owns the house where his family lived when he was a youngster. He calls it the Castle of Chaos. It's obvious why. Housekeeping is not a word found in his vocabulary. The house is filled with gadgets and the raw materials for new magic creations. Again, we suggest you get closer to your television set to take advantage of this next illusion. Here's the first experiment I'd like to show you. It involves also this still photograph. Now, I call this my trizonal space warper. I'm just going to spin it. Now, I want you to stare right at the center of this disc. Keep looking right at the center. It's a very strange thing to look at. And also, when we do look away, but keep looking right at the center, we're going to see a very, very strange after effect. Now, it doesn't matter whether you keep your eyes in focus or out, as long as you're looking right at the center of the disc. All right, now we're going to show you that still picture on the screen, and look, it looks like those clouds are boiling. It's a real wild effect. It's sort of like space had been warped. Now, this effect fades out, and inside of 10 seconds, it's totally gone. All right. For those of you who may have looked away, we'll give you another crack at it. Remember, keep staring at the center of the revolving circle. That is really a still picture. And so when those clouds moved for you, or looked like they moved, it, it was, they didn't actually move. It's just a phenomena, just a visual phenomena caused by this, this space warper. Uh, this, I call it a paradox box. It's a very unusual box. For instance, if I add something to this paradox box, I'm going to add this to it. Since it is a paradox box, it will look like I have taken something away. Now the box looks like, I'll turn it, it looks like I've cut the corner off and built it in. Now you can see into the box. When I turn it, you can see into the box. Now I'm going to put this tube in the hole in the box, suspended with this thread so it sticks out towards you. Now it looks sort of like a gun sticking out of a turret, and when I turn the box, it looks like that is turning in relation to the box, which it is not. Now I'm going to show you what this actually is. This actually is just a cardboard box. This is the back of a cardboard box. This is the inside of a cardboard box that I have painted to look like the outside of the box, and it's due to the way our mind works and the way we perceive things that we see this illusion. Here is a very, very interesting capital L. Now, I want you to watch this closely. I'm going to put this ball right at the base of that L, and it's going to roll right up like that. Look at that. Isn't that strange? Look, I take the ball, 
I put it down here at the bottom, and it rolls right up there like that. Neighborhood children can't resist a visit to the magic man. Andrus usually takes time out from puttering on a new trick to oblige. Hi. Hi. Can you do it? Sure. Course? You kids ever heard of Zone Zero? Nope. Well, this is Zone Zero, and whatever I put through that hole into Zone Zero, it instantly vanishes. Look, whatever I put through the hole into Zone Zero, it instantly vanishes. Now, look, the beautiful part about it is I can reach right in there and get it back. That's Zone Zero. The ex-electrical lineman also works with electrical gadgets. Andrew spent over seven years building this organ. It's still not finished. Some of the controls are activated by electric eyes.